Okay guys, here goes um, another quick mass planner tip. Um, this one is going to be for uh, clickable image links, okay? Um, mainly used on Facebook. But let me show you how we're doing that. So, you'll need a couple of things, okay? Um, you'll need to be, you need to go to the mass planner site, go to their blog. Okay, you see the link here and I'll probably include the link in the description. Um, but you want to download a couple of files from the uh, mass planner site. Okay. You see here, it says, get the files here. Okay. Download those files. Um, you'll download those files to your computer. Okay. They'll look basically like this. They'll come in a folder called image X. It'll be a, um, a raw file, R A R R A R. Okay. And you extract that raw into a folder, which will come out and say image X. All right. So once you have those two things done, um, download it to your computer from the mass planner site, somewhere where you can find it and extract that folder or that folder from the raw file into a place where you can find it okay because what we're going to do now is you're going to have to have a domain in order for this to work so um, i'm using hostgator and that's how i'm going to show you um, some people may have like host daddy and such like that i don't have those so i can't show you how to use those. i can only show you what i'm using okay so you go to hostgator you uh, get logged in um, as you can see i'm logged in here all right and then what you want to do and this is before even going into mass planner guys i'm setting this up so notice all right so what you want to do is you want to go to file manager okay from host gator host gator okay locate file manager under files click on file manager okay it's going to show a list of your um it, it shows your your files your domains that you have okay um what you want to do is just make sure it's ticked where it says home directory okay then click go all right it's going to open up a new tab and what you want to do from here, okay, and I'm not going to do this again because I've already done it, is locate where it says um, um, public HTML, okay, click there. Okay, and then it's going to show you your domains under here, all right? And as you see, I tested this in, back in the past and I haven't deleted this yet, but I have a folder called ImageX here, all right? What you want to do is you want to locate the domain where you want to put the files, okay? So say, for instance, I want to put them on um, my George Price 883 again. And you create a folder called image X. Okay. Click create that folder. Once and you simply create that folder by um, clicking on the domain name. Okay. So click on the plus, click on the domain name. Okay. It's going to show you the directories. Then click where it says new folder. Okay. After you click new folder. All right. It's going to give you what you want to put as a folder name. So we'll just put this one as test um, X. All right. Click create folder. All right, and you have test X. All right, click on test X. You see test X is empty. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna upload the files, okay, that we downloaded. So click upload, all right, and then click, it's gonna bring you to this page. Click choose file. Okay, you see the two files here. Um, actually, let me get them off of here. Okay. And just copy, take these two files, boom. Okay, if you can actually click one at a time, okay, click open, okay. And it's gonna tell you that it's gonna upload the file, it's gonna give you the information down here, boom, boom, boom. Complete, okay, click choose file. Okay, we did the first one, click the image. Okay, click open, okay. Boom, complete, okay. Then you close this page here. You refresh this one here, okay. There's my refresh. I don't want this to take too long. Um, reload. Okay, you see your two files, all right? Good, great. So now what you have here is a domain um, which you can copy here, all right? Boom, George Price 83X, all right? So copy that, all right? And minimize that, minimize that, okay? In Mass Planner now, okay? Go to where it says um, settings. Okay, and under settings, you want to go to where it says um, connectivity. Okay, and then here where it says clickable image server post. Okay, servers. Okay, you want to put it in your servers here. All right, put in the server here under. I have you see these here, so just put it under here. So control V. Um, put the HTTP before that. All right. Okay. Then you don't have to do anything else. Just basically get out of this area. The server is there. All right. Now what you do is simply go to a campaign. Okay. 
and you, you're going to simply make another post. So I'll go to one of my test campaigns. Uh, doesn't matter. All right. And what to publish. Now you're all set. So you go to clickable image post. Okay. And you put in your message. I want to post this. Okay. That's not what you're going to publish, but you know, there you go. All right. Then you put in your title. Um, this is a test. Okay. And then you put in your image URL. Okay. Now the image URL is basically, um, like if you get in it for, from a site. So like, say for instance, um, I have an Imgur account and I'll go to Imgur. Okay. And guys, this is also a way of, um, looking at, I guess you would say like banners. All right. So <laughs> if you have a banner somewhere, you can even put that banner URL. Okay. So I'll just go to Imgur for now. Okay, and I'll log into Imgur, and you can use Imgur, Photo Bucket, and such like that. Okay, so we're logged in. This video is a little bit longer, but it's it's a little bit more work. Okay. Um, okay, boom, get that image there. Okay, and basically what you're going to do is you're going to copy the link where it says direct link mail blah. So click on the copy or the folder there. It's going to copy the link. Okay. Minimize that, paste that link in here, okay? Then promote it URL, okay? So the image URL is basically where the photo is. The promote it URL is where they're gonna go once they click on that image, okay? So if you want them to go to your blog, if you want them to go to wherever, that's where it's gonna go to, okay? That's what the clickable image does, okay? So we're just gonna say, um, okay, simple, all right? And then simply put add post to list or add to post list. All right. And then we'll go here to post list. We'll scroll down and you see it shows my image as well because it pulled the image already from the image server. All right. Clickable image link done. All right. Talk to you guys in the next video. Have a great one. Bye bye.